Hey everybody, I hope and pray that you're doing well. Today as we come to our word from the word. And today that word is counsel. Counsel. Now today we're in Psalm 33 and just to look at a couple of verses and, and probably at least a phrase here in verse 12 that you're familiar with or that you've heard before. And, and I think sometimes maybe we need to really dive into the context and see how we can apply that to our lives today. So let's just dive right in. Psalm 33, looking at verses 10 through 12, says, The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the plans of the peoples of no effect. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen as his own inheritance. Now, I know, hands down, right? We know blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And a lot of times I know in the nation in which we live, right? Well, I can remember when God bless America, even in my, even in my few years, I can remember when God bless America, you know, meant a little bit more than it means today. You go back to the origin of this country and it meant a lot more about being having religious freedom. But that's where a lot of us will usually go, right? We, we think about that. And, and, and that is obviously what he's talking about here as nations and as people and governments try to come up with whatever they want to come up with and, and make their own plans. And, and basically, when they disregard what God has in store and what God has planned, when they disregard that, then God will have his way done eventually. You think about it this way, I believe uh, one commentator put it this way, when, when nations don't allow God to rule, he has to overrule. That means that his will is still going to be accomplished. It's just going to maybe be a little bit harder road to get there. And I know we can look across our nation today and we, we know and we understand that the decisions that are being made at, at many different levels of uh, government, from the top all the way down to the bottom to, uh, you know, over the whole nation, even to local governments that we can see Satan at work. And we can see that people have not taken the counsel of God. You say, but what does that have to do with me? Well, first and foremost, we need to pray for all of our, our leaders. Like them uh, or not, it doesn't matter. The positions that they're in, we need to pray for our leaders and we need to pray that God will work through them. No matter who they are, no matter what they're doing, God can still make a way. I just encourage you, if you think that uh, some ruler that's going the other direction, that's going away from God's word, can't be used of God, can't be uh, turned around, then uh, I just tell you, look in Daniel, look at Nebuchadnezzar and what happened to him and and the change that happened that God created in him because of what he thought he was going to accomplish. But even, even besides that, I think about the application for us today. And there I told you that, that phrase in, in verse 12, you know, that happy is he, blessed is the nation, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. But then I also notice how there at the end of it said the people he has chosen as his own inheritance. Now we know within the context that he's talking about the nation of Israel. Blessed is the nation of Israel. Blessed is the nation whose God is Yahweh, the one true God. See, I think sometimes we even, we look at it too much as the United States and we think, okay, well, the, the Bible was talking about us as a nation. But have you ever just stopped to think about, uh, we are not Israel and the church is not Israel. It's not a replacement for Israel. They are two uh, separate things. There's uh and when I say separate, there, there's two different meanings, right? It's not like the church in the New Testament is uh, fulfilling the new Israel. No, Israel is God's chosen. That's God's chosen people, God's chosen nation. But the church also, that does not take away the importance of the church. But have you ever just stopped to think about the, the church as a nation? Blessed is the church whose God is the Lord. Blessed is the congregation who's worshiping the one true God. Blessed is the worship service where the name of Jesus is lifted up. 
You could go on and on and use that that same analogy. And I, I think the same application for us that we need to remember how blessed we are to have a, a God in heaven who hears our cries, hears our, our he knows our innermost thoughts and and that can be scary and that can also be very comforting. That he knows everything that's going on in your life. And yet we still try to come up with our own schemes. We try to seek uh, counsel from others without first seeking counsel from God. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the nation has decided to do. If you and I personally have not made that decision to really follow Christ completely with every part of our life. With every part of our physical life, with every part of our spiritual life. So today I encourage you. Don't seek the counsel of others before you seek the counsel of God. God bless you, and I pray you have a great, great day.